Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this webinar, combined webinar of Nextbox Travel Technology and Verbo, part of the Expedia Group. Today, we are going to give you a very informative topic about how you can boost your performance together with us and Verbo. And um, also, we will tell you a lot about how to prepare your listings for 2021. But first, in order to make this uh, uh, webinar interactive, we would like you to participate in Slido. Uh, it's very easy. You can grab your phone. You can go to slide.do in your internet browser. And then we have created this very cool room called hashtag Nextbox Verbo. Um, please write it how you see it over in this slide. Um, and then you can participate during the session in a Q&A. Um, you can also upvote and uh, confirm your questions you'd like to uh, you like us to answer live during the session. And just for all the people on the uh, on the webinar, we will record this, of course. So a video will be shared with you afterwards. So uh, yeah, I know we have pens and notebooks, but we can put them aside. Uh, it's really uh, easy to listen in and uh, participate. Uh, and afterwards, you will get all the details, including the presentation. All right. So, Nextbox Travel Technology and Verbal, part of Expedia Group, uh, have put this webinar together to help grow your business via Nextbox with Verbo in 2021. And um, my name is Lennart. I'm the Director of Global Partnerships here at Nextbox. And today with me, uh, I'm honored to have Henrique Herr, Senior Account Manager of Verbo, uh, our commercial contact uh, at the Verbo uh, channel, and Inga Pekina, who is the Business Development Manager at Verbo, mainly taking into account uh, new partnerships that come on board with Verbo and ensuring that they have a smooth onboarding process. So, um, yeah, as I told already, this is really a webinar to grow, to help you grow your business via Nextbox as a channel manager with Verbo in 2021. And so you would think, okay, what are we going to discuss today? Because last year was a pretty uh, disastrous year uh, for business. But how are you looking at 2021? Well, uh, first of all, we will go a little bit in depth on the Nextbox and Verbo partnerships providing an introduction of both companies and outlining how this partnership is bringing you a lot of value. Furthermore, Henrique will go into the top traveler trends as Verbo released a new traveler trends report. And I think there are some exciting uh, uh, conclusions uh, in that report that you should all be aware of. Um, then Inga is going to elaborate on how you can prepare your listings and I will also give my point of view of how you can do that with Nextbox. Uh, at the end, we will wrap up and it will be a fun wrap up because not only we will have a Q&A together, uh, I will also release a poll at the end of this webinar in which you uh, yeah, are able to share what you think uh, can help to grow your business in 2021. And it's an open word cloud, so you can put anything in there what you think is possible. All right. Then I would like to give the floor to Enrique. Oh, no. Yeah. A little bit later. <laughs> First of all, Nextbox, who are we and uh, what do we stand for? Uh, so we were founded in 2006 as a channel manager by Eric Engel and Robert van der Mast, who is our CEO and CTO. And I'm happy to tell you that we already have since 2012 the integration with Furbo. And actually, since 2016, we're an elite partner of Verbo. And that is a partnership status that is the highest partnership status that Verbo hands out to their connectivity partners. And we're very much honored to uh, have achieved that status. So a little bit in general for maybe new players that, that, that are also uh, joining this call today. Um, what we do is we distribute pricing, availability, reviews, but also your content, and I think that's very good to remember, all your pictures, descriptions, and amenities and whatnot are also uh, transmitted to the Verbo channel. 
And we also take care of the entire booking process. So including cancellations and modifications bi-directionally. So from guests towards the accommodation, but also from accommodation towards the guests. Um, currently, we have about 660,000 vacation rentals and 65,000 hotels using our channel management software. And uh, just to visualize it a little bit, uh, from your accommodation tool, uh, we uh, transmit all the information towards Verbo. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we source that supply? So um, we have large partners that integrate directly with us, such as Novosol, James Villas, uh, Host Seasons, OEO, uh, Forenom, but we also source a lot of um, accommodation providers from the PMS integrations we make. And for instance, LiveRes is a very big partner of ours, and we provide a lot of property managers from the LiveRes system, and we synchronize their uh, rates and availability and content towards Verbo in order to receive a lot of bookings as well. All right. And so just to uh, elaborate a little bit on why we stand out and what holds the future for Nextbox is we are a fully integrated uh, channel manager with all the uh, payment providers as well. So it means that we're fully PII, PCI, and also the newest regulations, PSD2 and SCA compliant. Also, we take very much care of making sure that all your personal data is protected. And so therefore we're also GDPR compliant. Um, it just means that we take care of security and, and, and a safe transition of the data from Verbo towards your property manager. This year, we are going to completely redesign our channel management system to upgrade it to the latest standards. And uh, our dev team is already working quite hard to make the transition. And I have even some uh, never shared before screenshots for you today. Um, furthermore, we have adopted artificial intelligence in our company. And you would think, okay, well, what are the benefits? The benefits are that we can recognize the photo and immediately see what's on the photo. And therefore we can detect amenities, we can detect photo tags, and this will help to relieve a lot of the manual work. Also, artif artificial intelligence will set in 2021 the goal to help you when it comes to revenue management. Um, aside of that, we are going to launch a new supply API. Um, a lot of partners, they want to connect to us, accommodation partners. And so then we can use that data to furthermore, and again, distribute new players to Verbo. And so it becomes a lot easier to connect and to uh, drive your distribution objectives with us. And uh, aside of that, we will also allow individual property owners to upload their properties onto the Nextbox channel management system by a very easy flow in case they are not looking to use a PMS or uh, if they have just been working with spreadsheets and they just thought, okay, let's have a very simple solution to connect to Verbo. All right. Then I now give the floor to Henrique, uh, who will elaborate a little bit more about empowering your success on Verbo with Nextbox. And of course, give you the highlights of the travel trend report. Thank you, Lennart. Awesome. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Henrike and I've been working with Nextpacks for the past three years or so as their account manager on the Volvo side. And uh, although, as Leonard said, the companies have been partners for a lot longer than that. Um, I'm super proud and happy that in 2020, Nextpacks have been awarded the Elite Software Partnership level, as Leonard already mentioned. And I just wanted to highlight it's such a great success because the scoring by Verbo is to reach this elite status is actually really quite tough. So Nextpax really had to score well for their technical and also for their commercial performance. Our elite software partners, they're really the leaders in the VR software industry. And uh, that's demonstrated by their really clear understanding of the industry and the customer needs, as well as the product development and also the dependability. And in turn, property managers who work with these elite partners, such as Nextpacks, they have shown really great success on the verbal sites, thanks to the seamless integration that they can use and also the world-class tools that Nextpacks has to offer. 
So I'm really happy to say that as a team, we've developed quite a few functionalities recently to help travelers and property managers deal with the current travel situation. And uh, I think the results really speak for themselves. Um, and I've just given some examples here on the slide. For example, we have built a custom cancellation policy for better flexibility and um, an extended stay solution for longer stays, and you'll see later on why. And um, also improved the amenity selection accordingly to that current travel situation. I'm just waiting for the slide to change. Great. So today I'm excited to tell you more about the top travel trends that we're seeing in the verbal marketplace. And then Inga will continue on to tell you in detail how you can grow your bookings in 2021 corresponding to those trends. So for the past several years, Verbo has released an annual trend report using travel demand data to identify certain trends that are shaping the travel industry for the upcoming year. Uh, generally, we analyze data from our own VR, so vacation rental marketplace. But since 2020 was such a challenging year, we thought that we'll just change things a little bit. And so what we've done is that we invited family travelers from, travelers from around the world to participate in a consumer survey to help uncover what we can expect for specifically family travel in 2021. So the focus here is on family travelers because that's really the um, verbal perfect match, I would say, and uh, what we're really good at. So the data presented here and also in the Travel Trends report, which you will get from us after the webinar, is based on survey results from 8,000 people uh, from eight countries, as well as verbal travel demand for the 12-month period uh, ending August 31st last year. So let's get right into some stats with some good news. Even though most families had to cancel a trip due to COVID-19 last year, travel is still top of mind and families are making plans for 2021. So really good news. In fact, our data indicates that travelers are planning to make up for lost time last year by planning even more trips in 2021 than they did before COVID-19. Also great news for our industry. And when exactly do uh, travelers ex do we expect travelers to travel again? Very soon, actually. Um, obviously, nobody really knows when. Um, well, what what is happening with travel restrictions? But 57% of travelers that we have surveyed expect to book trips in the first six months of 2021. And uh, of those, 34% intend to book within the first three months. So that's already happening. And here's a little more about how and where families intend to travel in 2021. So we found that despite the current restrictive travel climate, there's not really too many signs of slowing down for certain travel types. So travelers are simply shifting their behavior. For example, they're preferring to stay closer to home so that they can get there by car or by road trip. And uh, travelers are also planning to visit the great outdoors where they can avoid crowds rather than going into uh, urban destinations, which is very understandable at the moment. So when we asked for the reasons for travel in 2021, we found that one major trend that we already found in 2020 will continue for this year. And that's the concept of flexcations. What that means is a longer stay mixing work and play, and that's really enabled by flexible work and school schedules that we've seen. So you might be familiar with this yourself. <laughs> I certainly am. Since we were at times rather restricted in 2020 with homeschooling our kids and also having to work from home, many people thought and still think, well, we might as well do that from a nice location somewhere else and maybe stay somewhere a little longer. And of course, where better to do that than in a vacation rental? And um, yeah, predictably, as you can see on the slide here, Second most popular reason for travel this year is to make up for lost time with family and friends. A little bit more about those flexcations. So as, as I said, um, the more flexible work and school arrangements are really the driver behind these. And 57% 50, of travelers surveyed by Verbo said that they have accumulated vacation time 
because they simply haven't taken any time off last year, which has also happened to me and a lot of people I know. So lots of people with stacked up holidays. <laughs> In addition, 51% of travelers surveyed said that they can work from pretty much anywhere, so providing great flexibility for a flexcation. And so the impact of flexcations can already be seen across the VR landscape, and it really presents some pretty compelling opportunities. For example, we see that families are taking longer trips during the typical off-season, and they're also looking for more last-minute trips to avoid changing plans. So again, I can uh, I can sympathize, so I also did this myself. Uh, for example, my, my generally one-week vacation to Portugal turned into a much longer vacation. Well, not really vacation, but I worked for two of the weeks and had holiday one of the weeks. So still at the same time, I stayed um, in a vacation rental. With this, there's of course also some critical considerations um, for these flexcationers when they're booking. For example, um, they now need to check that the property can accommodate remote working or schooling and also the amenities change for when you're staying longer rather than just staying a couple of days. So for example, I found myself in a place without a washing machine for three weeks, which wasn't ideal. <laughs> um, but we'll get a little bit more into the specifics um, later in the presentation with Inga. And this is my last slide now around travel trends, but um, a great visualization about increased demand for properties that can accommodate families staying together. So around the world, properties with four plus bedrooms saw strong demand growth in 2020, and they were driven by domestic travelers mainly looking for a change of scenery, of course, from their own homes. So marketing larger properties for local travelers or staycations will be an absolute key opportunity continuing into 2021. So with this, I hope you enjoyed this data. I'll hand over to Inga, who will continue on with some specific actions that you can take to um, take advantage of these travel trends. Hi everyone, we will now take a look at what steps you can take in order to best prepare your listings for travel rebound and to stay competitive in this new environment. We'll introduce you to four focal points, starting off with amenities. So simple investment in detail amenity descriptions can significantly increase the likelihood of bookings as travelers will pick properties that describe attractive sounding amenities. And this is intuitive. Just a small amount of investment here can make a huge difference to the overall performance of your business. And people want to go somewhere where they can live in the same level of comfort as in their own homes. So good, reliable internet and Wi-Fi access as travelers combine holidays with work from home, the ability to bring all their family members, including their furry pets, and the ability to cook their own meals have all become increasingly important for travelers when booking a vacation rental. So here is a more complete list of the popular amenities for families that we're seeing. I'm going to give you just a couple of seconds to browse through them. And here are some easy wins that you can make. To so emphasize reliable Wi-Fi and internet, bed size and type, outdoor spaces if you have any or if the property that you're managing has any of those spaces, and then consider allowing pets at your vacation rentals. We're kind of all just looking to go away somewhere where we can still feel at home. And now Leonard will walk you through where you can update your amenities in Next Packs. Yeah, indeed. Thanks, Inga. So updating amenities on Next Packs, I have to put a little disclaimer here because normally uh, you would update your amenities in your own PMS system. So if you're a customer of LiveRes, you would use LiveRes to make sure all the amenities are ticked, and then we would get them automatically via API and automatically onward distribute to Verbo. Though if you're not using content in any of your PMS solution or your PMS solution doesn't offer it, uh, you are happy to enrich it over here. You can actually complement your 
the rest of the information and tick the amenities that you want. And um, this is a screenshot of our current design, but I'd like to take you with us on our journey towards the redesign I talked earlier about. And um, yeah, I think we have a very nice aggregation of screenshots for that on the next slide. So you will see it's much more intuitive. It's also ca ca uh, categorized. Um, so you will have uh, comfort, you will have general outdoor facilities, activities, also your location and views. And I also would like to say it's not only about the simple amenities, like the, the things you have at your property, but it's also about your policies. How do you deal with parking? Or let's say Inga mentioned, I think we will see it on the next slide, a lot about pet search. So make sure that all the information about pets is available in our system so that we can transmit this for you to Verbo automatically. Um, it will really help for families and for people traveling with pets that they can read on your Verbo listing the information on how you would like to deal with pets and children. Um, and there are a lot of options. So I would say explore. Over to you, Inga, again. Yeah, so in addition to keeping your amenities up to date, the second point that we will focus on today is calendar availability. So we're really seeing a shift in trends where travelers are booking more last minute trips due to the ever changing restrictions. And we're predicting that this trend will continue for at least the next six months. For comparison, um, right in normal circumstances pre-COVID, the lead time for a booking on Verbo used to be somewhere between three to six months compared, compared to the couple of weeks that we're seeing right now. And travelers are now valuing also greater flexibility, not just in terms of the booking lead time, but also the duration of, stay, of their stays. So based on an analysis of searches of, on Verbo, where we compare data from March to July, 2019 with 2020, we're seeing a 15% increase in searches for longer trips. So searches for trips of three to four weeks. Especially given the increased hurdles to travel and increased flexibility to work from anywhere, really, once people make the trip, it's now clear that they just want to stay put. And as a recent example, myself, kind of similarly to Henrique, my husband and I, we recently booked a two-week ski trip instead of our usual one-week winter holiday. I think it's quite common to see that if people make up their mind to get on a plane now, it's very important that we kind of feel like it's worth it, worth the, worth the travel. And then this also relates kind of back to the previous point in that if travelers think that they're going to stay longer, then home-like comforts become even more important. Then tying this back to actions that you can take, we recommend decreasing your minimum night stay for travelers looking to get away for short last minute trips. These are often trips closer to home, trips that you can make by car, easily available by car. And we're also recommending to accommodate longer stays as well. And now over to Leonard to walk you through how you can set your verbal pricing in the Nextpack software. Yeah, and again here, for the people that use PMS software or use their own direct integration towards Nextpack, you obviously do this in your own integration, and then we automatically receive that information and distribute it onwards to, uh, to Verbo. However, if you were to change uh, the pricing in our channel management system, uh, because you're not using uh, that software, um, then um, yeah, you can flex your minimum length of stay to whatever you prefer. Uh, you can set any minimum length of stay. You can even define your prices per length of stay and per uh, amount of persons uh, for Verbo. And I think that is uh, that offers you great flexibility and a lot of more yielding options. Um, aside of that, we have worked with the Verbo team on implementing their long stay uh, API, uh, which now enables property managers to um, uh, provide pricing for long stays up to 190 nights per booking supported. It means that you can actually stay over four months uh, on a single reservation if, on your property listed on Verbo. And I think that's great. And I think 
Um, we are already seeing a lot more demand for long stays, um, and, and that, that is just a great switch, which happened really because of the pandemic, but it's, I think, one to stay. All right, um, this is, by the way, our current design, and in a new design, which you can see is far more intuitive and colorful, um, you will also have this opportunity named in the, the previous designs, but what we will add here is through artificial intelligence, we will try to give you rate recommendations. Um, so we will by first indicate whether this rate you provided is average, low or high versus the market. And you can then decide if you want to uh, make changes uh, and believe that totally up to you, of course. But we would like to make sure that we um, can compare your pricing with the market data. And so we're now at our third focal point, and this one is dramatically more important now than a year ago before COVID. Majority of travelers, transparency around cleaning practices is now a key consideration when selecting a vacation rental. In the age of COVID, travelers look for enhanced clean cleanliness and social distancing measures before they book. They think about those measures throughout their stay and they write about them in their reviews. So as a property manager, in order to stay competitive and receive any bookings today, emphasizing cleanliness is key. Be sure to describe all the safety measures you're taking in your listings. Make sure that the property is visibly clean when guests arrive and check in. And then consider providing options for more frequent cleaning during their stay, as well as providing disinfectant products at the property. Summing up the actions, make sure to explain the details of disinfectant or any kind of enhanced measures you take to ensure safety of the travelers. If possible, provide contactless check-in and check-out for social distancing, and make sure to accommodate these updated precautions in your listings because you want to be able to get the credit for the extra work that you're now putting in to ensure that people can finally travel safely again. And now over yeah, to Leonard to walk you through the cleaning. Thank you, Inga. So, so yeah, as an accommodation partner, you might think I have always been cleaning my property or my accommodation. So why is this suddenly a topic? Well, there happens to be a pandemic now and people are far more concerned about the cleaning standards. So even if you had elite cleaning standards at your accommodation and you, you have very high standards, you now also need to market about it. And through the help with Furbo and through their user research that people were really looking towards and searching for these amenities, we have been adapting quite fast and we have implemented these cleaning and hygiene amenities, even in our current design. So actually today, property managers connected to Nextbox can let us know what they have implemented as cleaning practices, for instance, uh, the property is cleaned by professional cleaning companies or um, staff is following all safety protocols or the, the, uh, the disinfectant is used when cleaning the property, right? So this will give the traveler a really good picture of how safe it is to book your property. Um, and I think that's great. And also for the new design, I think it's one there to stay. Um, I think uh, after this pandemic, this will always be in people's mind they want, of course, a very nice property according to their budget, but they also want to understand and know up front, hey, how clean or how high, uh, how how safe is my property basically. So, um, yeah, I would every advise everyone to not only do it but also to market about it. And um, the first one is very clear for everyone, I think, in this room. The second one is a bit new. And so that's why we emphasize on it today. And the fourth and final topic that we want to draw your attention to is pricing. Families are becoming budget sensitive given the economic shifts that we're seeing right now. 
And we're seeing that in spite of people planning longer trips, they don't necessarily want to spend more money. So for significant segments of potential travelers, saving money is more important than before the pandemic. And some have less disposable income than before. And these are all things that we now need to take into consideration. Additionally, travelers are more sensitive to hidden or extra fees. So here's an excerpt from a dis somewhat dissatisfied traveler that I thought we would take a look at together. So looking at places for a group of 15, I found a few places advertised for around $590 per night. When we went to book, it ended up costing almost $1,000 per night due to the extreme number of fees. So let's dig further into this one. So if the end price so if the end price, inclusive of fees, is significantly above the nightly rates, travelers are much less likely to book the property. A better strategy for you is to include any additional fees in your nightly rates, even if that means making the nightly rates higher to get to the same total price. And travelers appreciate the simplicity and are more likely to complete booking for such properties. So this is an example of how prices show on Verbal. And since travelers here, you can see on the right hand side, since travelers see both nightly and total price on the search page, it's important to keep those extra fees low and reasonable. So as we mentioned earlier, travelers increasingly value flexibility in response to constantly changing restrictions. In addition to booking closer to the travel date and booking longer trips, in today's uncertain climate, most travelers are unwilling to book a property unless it has flexible cancellation policy. So free cancellation policies are easily visible on Verbo and are amongst our most popular filters. So on the left here, you can see how travelers filter for free cancellations on our marketplace. They have the option to filter for free cancellation up until 60, 30, and 14 days before check-in. And then this information on the right, if you look on the right-hand side, is also clearly displayed with a free cancellation badge on the listing. So as you can see, this listing here has a free cancellation up to 14 days before check-in. So to summarize, we recommend keeping extra fees low and incorporated in nightly rates as much as possible, and also allowing for flexible cancellations to accommodate the ongoing uncertainty. Putting ourselves in the shoes of our increasingly budget-sensitive travelers, the possibility of losing out on both their vacation and their money is not a risk that most people are willing to take today. So let's give our guests the confidence that they can book and travel worry-free. Now over to Lena to walk you through how you can create a custom cancellation policy in Nextpax. Yeah, so thank you very much, Inga. Yes, and I think Henrika mentioned that we have implemented together this year with uh, Verbo the custom cancellation policy. And I find it really important to emphasize here that although Verbo offers their own flexible standard policy, um, if your flexible policy a little bit deviates from that option, you still have the option to show your flexible cancellation policy uh, by using this custom cancellation policy. So there are, um, you, you can set up your fee, you can set up your rules the, the night before the, the cancellation policy kicks in, and you have even the ability to provide some free text to further elaborate on your policy. And this is not only for cancellation, but it's also for prepayment, right? Um, in a new design, we will bring you a lot of questions and it's more intuitive to, uh, to work out that. Then I think we can do, we can move over to the, uh, the, the, uh, the next slide actually. Um, so from our end as a channel manager and what we see out there in the market, uh, we have also a few best practices for uh, accommodation partnerships. And uh, very much these are aligned with Verbo. And I think that is uh, a good sign of our uh, elite partnership. 
First of all, as Inga and Enrique already mentioned, it's really about updating your cleaning standards. And again, you already have them, most probably, but it's now time to market your cleaning standards. Let that be in your minds for quite a while. Um, furthermore, um, on the additional costs and the fee structures, I know that we are all caring for price transparency, that you all want to see on your listing, that you have your rental rate, your cleaning fee, and some sort of other additional fees. However, the guest, your potential guest, they care for price simplicity, which means reconsider the additional costs you have. And it's now time to make your pricing so simple as possible that every guest can understand it. Um, and it is also that more hotel travelers are now looking for vacation rentals to book after the pandemic. And in hotels, people are not used to pay electricity fee. They are not used to pay for their water usage. So it's always an all-in price. So if you want to give those guests that are already switching from accommodation segments over to your vacation rentals, the idea of welcoming, um, then why not provide that all-in price? Um, furthermore, I would urge everyone to be very flexible. I know it's hard. I know we all need the income from uh, the travelers uh, as we are accommodation partners and we also suffered a lot in 2020. But if we really want to grow and to nurture the very early demand, be flexible. There's no other way about it. So set your flexible policy with Verbo or set your Custom cancellation policy. If your if your flexible policy is somewhat different, we can still uh, work with our account managers to help you there. Um, another topic, uh, which uh, in the US I think uh, everyone is working with credit cards, so it's not so there a topic. But in the EMEA region, um, I would definitely want to highlight if you're not already connected with a payment provider to offer instant online payments. Um, it's now the time to do so. So payment links are really a thing of the past. And in order to ensure that the conversion process is as smooth as possible, try to integrate together with us your payment provider you are using or look at nextbox.com on this list of uh, integrated payment providers to see if your payment provider already has a connection with Nextbox. Uh, furthermore, and I think this is a rule that has gone uh, throughout the industry already for quite some time now, um, make sure that you have constant availability in pricing. I cannot say it often enough. Don't set up the new prices for the new season at the end of your current season. There are people already looking for your next season. So make sure that every time a day passes, you add a day of pricing and availability. And you do that 365 days ahead, if not further. Um, also, I'd suggest, and this was really a good pitch of Verbo as well, on, with their long stay statistics, open up long stay rates. <clears throat> we have the opportunity to provide length of stay pricing for up to 180 nights, and you'll be surprised that someone books your property for four months. And I think that is the kind of revenue we're all looking for at the moment. Um, and then, of course, this is really important. High quality content, everyone. We need high resolution images and we need to get all the amenities and all the policies uh, so that we can upload it to Verbo and make your listing super optimized. Remember, there's increased competition and there's less demand due to COVID and that is now growing again. But then make sure that you're on the front page and on the front row as optimized as possible. Yeah, so if you're not yet working together with Nextpax, if you're not connected to Verbo, but are interested, please go to the following link. Um, we'll also put it in the email just so you have it after the call so that, you know, if you want to register, just um, fill out the form. It will ask you some basic questions um, and then it will reach our partner success department and somebody will reach out to you to get you started. Thanks, yeah, and I think that's for all the maybe new partners that are already on board. Um, and um, yeah, I think that is important to highlight. Yeah, and then we will also be sending out the trend report in the email after the session, so you will all receive it. 
All right. So we promised that we would make this session interactive. And so um, in Slido, I will now start to release a poll. And uh, what are the recommendations that you would love to, um, to add? And I will open up the screen. I will share the, the live results as we do with elections and such. And uh, we'll start to share the screen. Oh, I can see already flexible pricing. Uh, few people that are going to review the integration um, or review the pricing and or review their information. Uh, we'll wait a few more seconds to see if some words in these clouds get bigger or maybe new words appear. Um, You can also see the join info here. So if if you haven't managed yet to uh, to join Slido, you can do so, um, and then use the next box verbo hashtag to do so. I see a new words coming up in our cloud, and I think that's really important. And as we already illustrated, of course. Double check my amenities and describe your cleaning measures. Yeah, it's really new. And uh, um, yeah, I would strongly urge to do so. And now we can actually see that the flexible pricing word is popping up more and more. And so, um, yeah, I think, think this is getting massively important, right? Make sure that you have pricing for all the length of stays and also support your long stay prices. Um, if you have any questions about how to implement it with your PMS system or with Nextbox as a channel manager, uh, our account managers are more than willing to help out. And I think, I think what we can do is keep it for another minute and to see if anything changes. And otherwise, I think it's time to move on towards our. Um, uh, Q&A. I think there will there'll be some interesting questions there as well. See, yeah, people really talk about pricing. They want flexible pricing. They're going to review their pricing. Um, it's always good to also look at what your competitors are doing, but also follow your heart. How simple do you want to make it for your possible guests? Okay, uh, Enrico, what do you think? Shall we move on to the Q and A? Let's move on to Q and A. Okay, well then we will do that. And if we're going to Q and A, um, we see a lot of questions already. Uh, people are still uh, allowed to. Uh, Maybe just a reminder, you can also upvote a question. So if there is a question there that interests you, you can upvote them on the right hand side with the little thumbs up. Yeah, for instance, I like really this question. So uh, I can I can answer this, I guess. Or should we start, oh. Leonard? Yes, you can answer it, but I think I uh, clicked away the question. So it was about the multi trend reports. Yeah, okay. I'm still learning Slido as well, so. Uh... <laughs> All good. So we don't have any uh, monthly trends report such as I presented just now. This is an annual trends report, which you will get um, with the follow-up email after this webinar. However, if you do want some more uh, region-specific information for where your listings are, we can provide you some information like that. If you do have a Verbo account manager, they can give that to you. So you just need to get in touch with them. If you don't have a Verbo account manager, contact us um, from in, on one of the email addresses in the follow-up email, and we can send something through to you or get someone to get in touch with you. Awesome. I think the next question is, what are the top two or three tech innovations that you see helping our segment in the next couple of years? I think that's a very interesting question. I think uh, we can do a round table uh, and see uh, what, what we will say as speakers. Um, I think I can already 
inform the, the group that artificial intelligence is going to change a lot on how we are looking at travel and um, they will really help us in better determine pricing but also take away a lot of the uh, the operations out of our hands as i already explained um enrique do you maybe have a suggestion for the group well i can probably emphasize that you know algorithms are becoming more and more so really listen to um what if, if you want to be successful on, on the OTA, you need to follow the um, instructions they're giving, you know, in terms of the optimization, um, stick with your account manager um, and really follow the instructions that they're giving because they they know really well on how you can perform well. So, so that would probably be my first recommendation. Yeah. And then I would, we really want to say that revenue management is only making its entrance within the vacation rental. And so over the next few years, you will see a lot more of that. Um, of course, there are already pricing tools and uh, we already have access to market data. Um, uh, but with the help of AI, you will really see that revenue management goes to an entire different level. And so, um, yeah, this will this is certainly one to watch for. Okay, so I think uh, we have answered that question. What can I focus on to get more family bookings via my content or pricing? I think it's a very good question. It relates to a lot of what we have been talking today. Uh, Inga, um, I think you have been elaborating already a lot on this question, but could you highlight the, the key focus in order to get family bookings? Yeah, I would start off with saying that if you're not yet listing on Verbo, start off with that. You know, we focus specifically on groups of friends and families. That is our target. Yeah, that is our target segment. So that's the yeah. first place to start. And then I would say amenities are a huge factor for families. You know, they're looking for multiple bedrooms, different bed sizes. They're looking for kitchens. They're looking for barbecues outdoors. So really, whatever you have, like Leonard mentioned, now is the time to promote those yeah. amenities you have. You know, um, it's just very good to put it out there because then you also avoid like a lot of different inquiries back and forth. As long as you make it clear on your listing what people can expect straight away, yeah, I think you also make it a kind of like a more streamlined way of working for yourself. Right. So really focus, yeah, focus on amenities. Okay, um, and if we go and continue then on price consistency, um, what percentage of listings are using price consistency? And I think maybe what we need to elaborate a little bit, Henrique, is what is price consistency in the first place if other viewers don't understand that? Um, and then we can go into the percentage of listings that are price consistent with uh, the next box Furbo connection. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, we really want to make sure that the traveler experience is um, is ideal. So what has happened in the past is that the traveler has searched for a particular listing. They clicked on it and um, so they liked the price that it said. They clicked on it and then with a calculation of all different fees and all sorts of things, that price would change by the time they are at the checkout page. Um, they have a really bad experience by the uh, the price changing to up to maybe 50% even. So really bad travel experience and we've worked hard to eliminate this. So that's what we mean with price consistency. Uh, verbal wide, I think we are now at 95.9% uh, .9 of price consistency for all of the integrated properties that we have. And Nextpax uh, has also 95%. So it's really good. Um, however, if you are not price consistent yet, uh, just a, a really a reminder that this is dangerous for you, for your bookings, for your conversion. So make sure you are contacting Nextpacks or your account manager if you are unsure. And um, yeah, the, it's really important because also after the 30th of June, we will actually hide those non-price consistent listing from our search page. So your listings that are not price consistent will no longer appear just because it's such a bad experience for the traveler. Okay, thank you very much, Erika. I think that answers the question on price consistency. 
Um, and then the next uh, one is how many, how may integrated partners send special offers without incurring in refunds and more bank fees? Uh, yeah, that, that's not what I have seen, but maybe from the Verbo side, there can be a comment around that. Um, yeah, I can take that one. Okay, thank you very much, Inga. Yeah, so we're currently working on providing various discounting options on Verbo for integrated property managers. So just stay tuned for that. We will um, we will send out the information once those take effect. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more info. Yeah, and some something which I can already maybe uh, disclose is that Nextbox and Verbo are actively working on providing a new listing discount, uh, which you can set in uh, Nextbox or even from your PMS. Um, and that would allow you for your new accommodation that you put online to put uh, an, an attractive discount so that you extra market this property. Okay. Um, then the next question is, does Nextbox have any social media integration? Of course, we're always looking at new opportunities to make more integrations. Uh, I'd be happy to take this uh, question offline, though, uh, as we're now together with Verbo in a uh, webinar that's really focused on how you can excel with your business on Verbo. Um, so, yeah, please write to support at nextbox.com uh, with your particular question there. And the next question is from Diana. Uh, thank you, Diana, for putting this question there. Uh, so, Diana is integrated with LiveRes. Uh, and through LiveRes, uh, via us, they list on Verbo. And she's asking, how can we actually give a special offer to a potential guest if LiveRes is not allowing that? No refund option. So, um, a couple of things. I think Inga mentioned already that we are going to provide more information on how you can do that. Uh, furthermore, uh, we are always having the conversations with any PMS to make sure that the innovations that we launch together with Furbo are as fast as possible allowed and also adopted uh, in our supply connections with LiveRes and any other uh, PMS system. Um, our advice is to reach out to our account managers and to highlight uh, if there is a mismatch in capabilities. And we have a very dedicated team that works day and night with LiveRes uh, to make sure that we bring all the innovation we have available. So uh, it's just, if it's not there yet today, it's just a matter of time. And then there's another anonymous question. It's around, I use pricing software and it makes it difficult to do length of stay pricing. Okay. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. So length of stay of length of stay pricing is actually the most common used uh, pricing strategy within vacation rentals. Uh, not knowing the pricing software you are using, um, if they are focusing on vacation rentals, this might be a topic that you'd like to discuss with them, because uh, in EMEA, in, in, in the US, but also in APEC, everyone likes length of stay pricing because it offers you the flexibility to define prices per length of stay, but also per group size. And so you can get a lot of combinations and have a very flexible pricing strategy. Um, it also offers you a lot of revenue management and yield management uh, capabilities. Um, so if your pricing software uh, is not using that, then uh, yeah, that might be something to uh, talk about. And I see now that the user reacts with, I use beyond pricing uh, software. Um, yeah, and that's something that, that should really have a conversation, conversation with them about this. All right. So I think I answered those questions. Thank you very much for putting them out there. I think it's very interesting to understand what kind of players are all integrated into this travel ecosystem when it comes to pricing. Um, then there is the last question, I think. Um, and it is about any Verbo update on allowing long-term stay discounts. Uh, we have lost many Verbo guests mainly because they don't receive the 
this discount at booking time. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I already elaborated that since short we have um, uh, integrated the, the length of stay pricing uh, and you can set your own price basically uh, to make sure uh, you are well set up for any long stay bookings. Um, and also Inga uh, already mentioned that on the promotion and discount side, there will be a lot of updates and maybe Henrik and Inga can already pitch in on this question as well. Um, but there is more to come. And I think with the capability to set long term stay rates, uh, we are already quite ahead. Yeah, I would say maybe it's a specific scenario. I'm not sure. But um, if there is a particular question on how to set that up in the next pack software, that uh, might be a question for the particular account manager in that yeah. case. So I would recommend yeah. getting in touch with your account manager just to make sure that you're using the software to the full capabilities. Yeah. All right. Um, we have a bit of time left, I see. So even now, at the very last minute, you can post questions. Um, and they will drop in automatically. Um, otherwise, I think we will use the last minutes for closing off today's session. So I'm going to stop sharing and we will put up the presentation again. Yeah, we did the Q&A. Um, yeah, I think we are at the end. So I would like to thank you very much, everyone, for joining this session. I had the honor to have with me Henrike and Inga, who together pulled up a lot of suggestions how to enroll and, and broadcast your business better on Verbo. Uh, let's get ready for 2021. Um, Nextbox will be there for you uh, to optimize your business on Verbo. And um, yeah, we just hope that the rebound is so strong um, that we don't know where to find more accommodations, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for you, uh, for your attendance today again. Um, Henrike, thank you very much. Uh, Inga, thank you very much. And uh, we hope to uh, see you again. Thank you everyone for, uh, for attending. And yeah, please do reach out for any, with any questions. Thanks very much.